What's up, Fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I got some new news regarding Canelo Alvarez. So Canelo Alvarez has went on record saying, um, clearing up a statement um, previously made by Eric Gomez, the president of Golden Boy Promotions, that he underwent cosmetic surgery, you know, like some Michael Jackson shit. You know, Canelo Alvarez has, you know, went on record clearing that up, saying it was not cosmetic. You know, this was not Michael Jackson shit or any type of other, you know, cosmetic thing. It was a uh, to replace some cartilage in his knee and his right knee that was uh, affecting his fold of his knee. You know, so, you know, um, you know, Canelo Alvarez is, is really had a rough ride. You know what I mean? You know, if it was, you know, if the if he's true, if he's the blame or solely the blame, whichever, it doesn't change the fact that you know, things are going to come out about, you know, Canelo Alvarez and stuff like that, that you know what I mean? Because, you know, uh, he, he's in the spotlight, you know what I'm saying? So anything that he does is going to be found out about or, you know, people are going to take it or, you know, half truths, half lies, you know what I mean? Whichever, it's all going to come out, you know? Um, but this is an exact reason on why people, you know, uh, you know, the hierarchy presidents shouldn't really, they should just keep their mouth shut until they, you know, really know what their fighter really wants them to do. You know, um, and I know he said that, er, you know, Eric Gomez said that simply just to, you know, j just to have something to say, you know, to, just to feed the media, you know, which he should have just waited like, dude, found out what it is, you know, so, you know, um, Canelo Alvarez, you know, I'm, I'm you know, I, could, I wish I was again a fly on the wall to hear that conversation. Like, what the hell did you tell people that I was what I'm getting, getting my face chopped open? I'm getting, you know, I'm getting my nose adjusted or what? You know, I mean, know the facts first, you know, and, and if, I, if I was Canelo Alvarez, I would be pissed, too. You know what I mean? I'm not getting cosmetic surgery, you know, like get it right. Get the facts straight. So, you know, but other than that, you know, it's another thing. That, you know, he's dropped out of the uh, the Gennady Golovkin fight, as everyone knows. If you don't know, you know now, okay? He's not fighting Gennady Golovkin. Gennady Golovkin is still scrambling around looking for an opponent. Anyway, it's not about Gennady. This is about Canelo. Canelo does have a hearing on April 18th, which is about in four days. So he has, um, you know, to blow out his allegations of, you know, of clenbuterol, the banned substance that he was found with twice. But, you know, him dropping out of the fight was his own reason. But then, you know, it could either be another alibi or another excuse why he dropped out of the fight, you know, now because, you know, he's had, actually had surgery on something. So, you know, or it could be a, a situation where he was just doing it because, well, hell, I'm not fighting anyway. I might as well get this fixed. You know, the question is, when did he have this type, this type of injury or this type of condition that he needed to get repaired? When did he find that out? Did he find it before he got popped with the clenbuterol? Did he find it at word afterwards? And let's get it cleaned up. So only he knows that and his camp knows that. So, you know, I'm just giving you a couple, a few possibilities of what could happen, you know, and what the deal is with that. Um, but Canelo Alvarez is still only 27 years old. He's still a good fighter. You know, if he gets suspended for a year or half a year, you know, um, he will be back and he'll always have fans, you know, because he has, again, a whole country behind him. You know what I mean? So, you know, but he will be back stronger than ever. You know, Golden Boy is still one of the top promotional companies around. And, uh, you know, um, I hope. He heals well to get back in there to fight some of the best people. You know what I mean? Um, and that's not Gennady Golovkin because I hope Gennady Golovkin retires. But that's a whole nother video. But anyway, you guys hear it here. Uh, tell me what you think about this. This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News. You guys been counterpunched. Peace.